Hello YouTube shooters and loaders, casters. This is JH586. I'm Jamie and I'm this is our first episode of our 35 Remington loading series. And I got a lot of stuff to cover. Let me see if I can get it done fairly quickly for you guys. We're going with the Lee 200 grain round flat. 0.358 and I have tested these for bullet hardness for the lead hardness and what I what I did was I used the the pencil method I got these artist pencils and I have the uh, chart from gun fun ZS which gives us a bullet hardness of 16 to 18 on the BN BHN scale and that is pretty much what your commercial cast bullets hardness will be. And we're using the, we're gonna be shooting out of the Marlin Model 336. So I slugged my barrel today. Can y'all see that? See all the little marks right there? So what I discovered was my barrel slugs at .356 our bullets drop at 358 then we're going to powder coat them on top of that and these particular bullets have gas checks as well so we're, we we uh, sized them at 358 that's going to be two thousandths over the bore diameter but I think that's going to be a good good tight fit it's going to shoot real well also, what I did was I tested the length of my chamber using Johnny's reloading bench of taking a case and a Dremel tool, and cutting a slice in it. Can y'all see that? Then forcing your bullet down in there and chambering it. And I did this several times. And this one right here, we'll measure it for you. This is with the Sierra. 35 caliber, 200 grain, round flat, 2.475, okay? So when I did this with, with our cast bullet, I got 2.378. So I decided to go with a cartridge overall length of eight thousandths off the lens which is going to give us 2.370. That's a good round number. So that's one of the reasons I went with that. And uh, so our, our barrel slugged at 3.56. We have 12 grooves. And the, the, those grooves are approximately four thousandths deep. The first powder I chose to go with was the IMR 4064 because in our lead book, it it's the slowest and least one of the least pressures of the powder that I have. I don't have any of the powders that. Uh, matter of fact, the powders in the the Lyman book that is recommended for the for the cast for cast lead bullets is powders. I've, I've, I don't even know what those abbreviations stand for. Maybe I'll put it in the comments and y'all can, uh, y'all can enlighten me. So we're going with, we're going to, with our first load, which is, let me get my data out here. Um, the minimum load for 4064 in the lead book is 34.1 grains and that's going to run it at 1741 feet per second so in the Lyman cast book they had data for IMR 4198 and it uh, starting load was 26.5 grains and that's going to push it at 1760 feet per second See, that's one of the problems I've had. What I've had to do is take Lee's um, one grain factor. The Lee book is the only book I know of that gives you that one grain factor. And you multiply that by 
your uh, the the velocity factor for IMR 4064 is 0.9698 and you multiply that by your by your grains of your powder so our starting grain was 34.1 you multiply that out and you, you can keep going down and keep going down till you get to something that's equitable to the data that we have in our Lyman book so what I came up with and what I decided to do was we want to start with IMR 4064 at 33.3 grains and that's going to give us 1698 feet per second what that is is one grain below the minimum charge for a jacketed bullet and that is less speed and less pressure than the Lyman cast book has for a cast lead bullet so I think we're safe there that should give us about 1698 feet per second at 28,495 pounds per square inch and if y'all have done any checking on the data you'll see that uh, pounds per square inch numbers are significantly higher than the copper units of pressure uh, the copper units of pressure seems to be a much larger um, unit of measure so we want to we want to go with uh, 33 and a point three grains to start with, and we're going to go in half grain increments up to 48 40 excuse me 34.8 grains, which is still um, a good bit less. Our maximum charge for uh, our maximum charge for a jacketed bullet with IMR 4064 is 35.3 grains so we're still a good bit underneath that so we're not going to be in any trouble our brass is going to be the Hornady brass that has been fired from my rifle but I full length sized it back to the SAMI minimum y'all can see this this is the Lee universal expanding die so it's all I've already got it expanded I've already got it primed and um, you can see let me show you a real good fit right here if, you, if I can get one in here so we got that sliding right down in there real real good so it's ready the cases are ready they're primed I prime my cases with the uh, most of the time I use the Frankfurt Arsenal hand primer I like it better than uh, the Lee safety prime on my turret press but using it on my turret because <clears throat> that thing tends to throw primers everywhere you never can get the last ones out so as we start uh, start up our loading process I'm going to load five rounds of each of our ladder loads 33.3 .3, 33.8 34.3 .3, and 34.8 and um, we have one charge already right here let's recheck this to make sure our overall our case overall length again is going to be 2.370 which should put us eight thousandths off the lands and I have a charge in here let's let's see what it's going to do I have my IMR 4064 and my Lee um, perfect powder measure uh, it's not really a perfect powder measure it's a really good one and it's really good for the money you pay for it but we're right on 33.3 .3 grains so y'all know how to do this and I'm not allowed to instruct you on manufacturing ammunition but I will take this charge and dump it in this case right here for y'all and we will put our cast bullet on this thing like this now y'all don't watch me seat this bullet. 
I have my Lee uh, bullet seating die is already set up. So we want to come over here and just run that up in there like that. And you can see we're right at right at the crimp groove. Um, one thing about shooting and loading for a lever action rifle, we've, we're going to have to have a good crimp. You're loading these into a tubular magazine and they're stacked one behind the other with spring pressure on them. When you have the recoil there, that spring pressure is going to increase backwards. It's going to give it a little jolt. So I believe with a lever action rifle, you're going to have to have a good strong crimp. And what I've done with the Lee uh, factory crimp die and my turret press is what I do is I put it in there and I stand up over it. And as I'm running it down and adjusting it, what I want is I want all four of those collets to close up. That's going to give us our maximum crimp. What we don't want to do is go past that and damage our damage our die. So I'm going to keep doing this till I get our loads up. So that's a pretty good crimp, don't you think? So um, I've got the these are the Harbor Freight Yellow, and I'm, I'm they coat real good, but they look kind of splotchy as you can see. So we're going to shoot them up first and get rid of them. What do you think? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to measure out 18 more powder loads and uh, powder charges, and I'm going to seat these bullets. We're also going to use these pretty red ones because the yellow ones are just so ugly, but we'll use some of those too. And uh, if anything strange happens, I'll come back and tell you. If it, if not, I'll come back and uh, we'll get them labeled up and boxed up. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, here you go. We'll start there. Let's just get them all in these boxes and keep them separated and we'll get them labeled up and um, You'll probably see them being shot next time we get together here. I'm going to skip a row. That was a Roger Miller song, wasn't it? Take a look at that. Look good? I think so. While you're still here, before we go, here's the rifle. Yes, I have a scope on my lever gun because I can't see anymore. Here we go. How about that? Chamber's great. Okay, I can't wait to shoot them. We might know. Uh, we'll get out one day this week and get some uh, get get these shot up and I'll come and bring you you guys back along and show you the targets I don't guess you need to see me shoot do you but uh, this is uh, I can't wait to see how they turn out we may be a little hot I may blow my face off as Johnny says I hope not but I think with the math I did that I explained to y'all when we got started I think we're in good safe territory um, maybe uh, if I'm not you'll let me know in the comments and uh, talking to you guys about reloading you know y'all where I've learned everything I know so it's kind of like being asked to preach at your church and your pastor sitting in the congregation is kind of intimidating but thank you guys for coming along with me and I can't wait to see how these turn out and I hope y'all join when you can thank you bye